An interesting property of pigeonhole is that if the drop list contains only one item, then pigeonhole doesn't need to present the user with the list and will just simply populate the variables as needed. And here's a fun example. Let's imagine that I have a card similar to this where I have a manufacturer, manufacturer part number, and uh, I've included a, a cost in here. I went ahead and created a add-in button. I just simply called it get cost, and I connected it to pigeonhole 28. So the setup on the pigeonhole side, let's go ahead and go to my advanced pigeonhole 28. And then just a simple query, querying a different database, my ERP database, and I just select the cost from my database, and I'm using the manufacturer variable and my part number in my actual query itself. So here's what this looks like. Let's go to my card. Start my card up. So I'm going to query my database based on the manufacturer, manufacturer part number, click get cost. It connects to the database and just populates. It doesn't bother to show my user the, the drop list. And if I had a different part number in there, hit the get cost again, it will re-update with the new value.